How are you, my internet family, and welcome back for another video. So we're getting a bit real today. My voice sounds a little bit funny because I'm wearing my new denture. I need to get used to speaking with it, so I hope you guys don't mind. You're my fam. I'm certain the title gave it away, but I will be talking about bisexuality in this video and sticking with the theme, I am wearing my San Junipero like inspired glasses. That is an incredible episode of Black Mirror which I urge all bisexual viewers to go and watch. It's amazing and you don't have to watch the rest of the show to get it. But um yeah. Just since yesterday I've received so many messages from you guys after a lovely lovely shout out from Zoella in Alfie's vlog about my sex videos and stuff and to be honest I had really underestimated the value of these videos because I don't do them that often I kind of just make them when the mood strikes or if I have something to talk about but the amount of people reaching out to me is insane yeah I think this kind of open discussion is so important especially because it's missing from schools and stuff um so yeah I'm just spontaneously sitting down to film a video that I didn't plan um and I'm gonna chat about some stuff that's on my mind I guess this is sort of a response to my friends Rose and Rosie's bisexy series a recent video that they did so if you don't know them, Rosie is bisexual, Rose is a lesbian and they are very happily married and incredibly in love. They brought up a subject that like mm, has been on my mind quite a lot and I feel like I have some stuff to add to the chit chat um, but I love the girls, linked them down below. Uh, yeah so. My bisexual dilemma! I live in Ireland in case you didn't know, in a village pretty much in the middle of nowhere. I'm not in a city. I am really bad with dating apps. I don't like Tinder. I think it's weird to just swipe on people and stuff. So um, yeah, I really struggle to meet new people. Everyone I meet is usually through YouTube. Everyone I've dated has been through my job in the last like year and a half since I've been single. And um, I have to agree with Rosie in that I find that more men pay attention to me than women and I don't know is that because I'm not around women who are also into other women or is it because I give off straight vibes um I'm quite femme I love dresses I love lipstick I'm I'm very like traditionally feminine um I wear high heels and you know all all the jazz so I found that I've been trying and making a conscious effort to make myself come across more appealing to queer women and um there's so many stereotypes about what a lesbian looks like I hate stereotypes um but definitely some of them I feel like a lot of girls gravitate toward you know wearing certain types of clothing or um whatever to kind of give that off I don't know like any bisexuals please feel free to chime in down in the comments because I want this to be a discussion um but yeah so if I'm in a nightclub say or in a bar I'll find that like men will flirt with me or if I am on um, a dating website like OkCupid for example which clearly states that I'm bisexual a lot of men approach me but very few girls do um, and like it just kind of sucks because um, I don't like to think that I'm 50% attracted to girls and 50% attracted to men it's that I go through phases and I know some other people that I know that are bi feel the same way like I'll go through phases where I'll just really want to date a girl and I want that soft feminine energy around me and sometimes I just I'm only interested in talking to and kissing boys. Rosie mentioned in one of her videos that she was only in relationships with men prior to her relationship and marriage with Rose and I feel like because I've only been in a, like two long-term relationships with men that definitely a lot of the lesbian women that I've gotten close to have had a bit of a wall up and have expressed to me their fears and concerns that they would never be enough for me um, and I've also experienced this on the other end with men who have told me that you know they would want monogamy and they worry that I wouldn't be able to fully commit to them and stuff like that and I've said before I am open to open relationships I've enjoyed that I really enjoyed experiencing that in 2016 but at the same time if I met the right person and they were completely set on a monogamous relationship and I was madly in love with them I would absolutely be monogamous be it a man or a woman however I've never gotten to be single before this is a whole new world literally it feels like there's a big box of chocolates in front of me and I'm like 
don't know which one I want. Don't know what I want, what I really, really want. No, I do know what I want. I want love. I want that connection. I want that companionship. I want that one amazing person to share everything with. Um, but I, because I haven't experienced a long-term relationship with a woman yet, I'm kind of gravitating towards wanting to explore that just because I want to see if I work better in that way because in the dating processes I've found that I really love dating women but I've yet to meet someone who fits in with my life like with my where I live and stuff and my work and like where it's not too overly complicated or I've been with a couple of women who I've been crazy about but they are not sure about their sexual identity and I feel like I I'm kind of experimentation for them which is fine um I have to go through that as well to figure myself out it's just difficult um it, I feel like it complicates dating for me and I've definitely in the past wished that I could just like one gender and I know that other people have told me that they wish that they could be bisexual because they think that would give more options but sometimes having more options is a curse and not a blessing it, it makes things really tough um especially if I'm in a phase where I just really want to like meet a girl and date a girl in Ireland I just don't see it I never really see same-sex couples together and like sexually I feel like there's huge differences between sex with a man and sex with a woman personally obviously it's going to be different because men and women I'm talking about sex here and not gender at all make sure you always know that guys because I, I am very very aware that people identify in all sorts of ways in terms of a penis and in terms of a vagina and boobs and all the various things you can do with each different sex it's very different and the dynamic changes a lot as well because there are natural differences between the sexes in many different ways I feel like that's why when I'm dating a woman I kind of take on a certain role almost and I don't know if this was born through heteronormativity in our society but if I'm with a girl I'll be the one to put my arm around them I'll be the one to kind of lead them their hand and I'll be the one to kind of like give them my coat and open doors and silly things like that but uh and, and then if I'm with a man oftentimes I'll kind of naturally revert into a more submissive role and they'll be kind of taking care of me you know so that's just the the way I work I'm not speaking on behalf of all bisexual people at all but um yeah it's a bit of a dilemma I feel like it's limiting me and I don't know if that's just location based or if it's based on me or is it society is it that lesbian and bisexual girls see me and they just think oh she's a straight girl or is it that I give off something that makes them think that oh I don't know and, and then another thing is that I always end up falling for straight girls <laughs> like they're so few girls who either swing both ways or just like girls that I am attracted to because I I feel like I have quite a a type um with men and women sort of but everyone everyone tends to have a little bit of a type you know maybe not just let me know down below what your experiences are but um a lot of the girls that would catch my eye um end up being straight as a ruler <laughs> it's just difficult like it was difficult for me as well growing up with this because I actually didn't know that bisexual was a thing until the night when I first kissed a girl and she told me she was bisexual I'm writing all about this by the way in a chapter in my book telling like how I kind of felt during all that phase and stuff but like when I was in school lesbian was used as an insult like the word dyke people would call people dykes they'd say minge muncher and all these horrible things in a really negative way it's like the way they say oh that's so gay and that language was kind of I developed negative connotations with it and for years I just tried to appear as non-lesbian whatever that means as possible I would be called a lesbian for really random things and there was only one lesbian in our friend group and everyone talked about her behind her back and it was just awful like it was really really awful and I guess I also have that worry deep down I try and act like it's not a problem for me but I guess I definitely have that inbuilt where like I'll be really self-conscious the day when certain people in my life see me holding hands with a woman or if I 
bring a woman back and I feel like they'll be like, so are you dating anyone? And I'll be like, hello. <laughs> Part of me almost needs that environment that is in, for example, London. It's, you know, London, LA, those kind of places are just so not only multicultural, but just like every sort of person you can think of is just everywhere. When I go out for a walk, I'll be lucky if I pass two people. Whereas in those kind of hubs, you've got, you know, all different body shapes, all different skin colors, all different genders, all different sexualities. And it's beautiful. Like variety is so, so beautiful. Yeah, so I, I don't know guys, do you think that it's just where I live? Or is it me? Is it my history with men? Is it the vibe I give off? Or is it kind of society like because I'm good at flirting I have to say I know exactly how to reel them in when I want them <laughs> I just don't want them very often <laughs> like people in general I'm good at giving the eyeballs and the signals and stuff like that it's just unfortunately a lot of the time when I do meet a girl that I like if she's gay a lot of the time she won't even view me as an option because I'm just like straight girl and then if she's not gay then there's no point and it's like I'm just flirting with a wall. <laughs> yeah Rose and Rosie got me thinking about that and um, I just love the dynamic that they have. They're like goals um, but I yeah I just I don't I don't it's not like I care who I date but I think um, having been with men for such a long time I'm just kind of I'm curious about about a, a relationship kind of environment with a girl um and I don't really know how to make it happen I'm a bit crap with this it's all new like I said uh and it plays on your mind a lot like it's a big thing it's a big part of your life when you're you know not asexual it is a big part of your life and you you kind of think about <laughs> sex and people you fancy all the time like I know when I'm with someone like they're such a focus of my energy and stuff but when I'm not with someone it's so scattered and I'm like blah, 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 ah. I hope some of you can relate a little bit and if not maybe you open your mind a little bit and learn a little something please give this a thumbs up if you want more videos like this that are just chatty and leave a comment down below and chat to me about your experiences with stuff like this um because i just i need i need connection thank you so much for watching and again thank you zoella for the lovely shout out it means so much to me um i just feel really encouraged to be as open as i can because i'm an open book in real life and that's exactly what i want to be on the internet um so yeah bye guys